an early exit for one of Europe's most respected leaders. Italy's Prime Minister Mario Monti resigned on Friday evening, months before the end of his term. He handed his resignation to Italy's president shortly after the lower house of parliament approved the last budget law of his one-year-long government. His last speech as prime minister delivered to a group of ambassadors. My words will be, with every probability, the last act and the last words before those where I formally hand in my resignation to the head of state. So thank you very much for allowing me to conclude with you this difficult but fascinating 13 months. Monti announced he would resign after the biggest coalition in the parliament, the People of Freedom Party, withdrew its support. Its leader, former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, has already announced he will run in the elections next February. In less than two weeks of dialogue with the voters, we have already gained five percentage points, so I hope that we can aim for the 40 percent that could give us the victory. Monti's future is still unclear. Will he go back to being an economist, run as prime minister or endorse parties that pledge to continue with his plans of reforms? The now former prime minister is expected to reveal his choice during a press conference on Sunday morning. Now all eyes are set on Sunday when we expect Mario Monti to announce the decision over his future. That's when we will learn whether Friday was the last day of Monti as a politician or whether he will try to play an active part in Italy's politics to continue and finish the job he has started. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Rome.